The film opens with a group of medical professionals working diligently to save the life of a premature newborn baby. In a subsequent scene, we meet Diane Shearman, the mother of the baby, who is urgently summoned to witness her child's precarious situation. The narrative then shifts to Chloe, a young teenager grappling with five significant health conditions, including asthma, diabetes, and paralysis. Viewers gain insight into Chloe's daily routine at home, involving a regimen of medications and blood checks to manage her blood sugar levels. Despite her health challenges, Chloe is portrayed as a remarkably intelligent and ambitious individual with dreams of attending a prestigious university. Chloe's enthusiasm for education is evident as she passionately submits college applications, eagerly anticipating acceptance letters. However, the anticipated letters never arrive, casting a shadow on her aspirations. Beyond her academic pursuits, Chloe also possesses a keen interest in experimental science and self-taught engineering. This aspect of her character adds depth, showcasing her multifaceted personality. One day, while engrossed in her studies, Chloe is interrupted by the sound of a car. Initially thinking it's a male delivery, she discovers that it's her mother returning home. During this moment, a chance encounter with her mother's grocery bag leads to a discovery. Chloe notices a pack of green medicine bearing her mother's name, sparking curiosity about her mother's health condition. As the story unfolds, Chloe's curiosity intensifies. A nighttime scene reveals Chloe being given medicine by her mother, including the mysterious green pack. Intrigued, Chloe questions her mother, who dismisses it as routine medication with the recipient's name on the package. The following day, Chloe's inquisitiveness prompts her to investigate further. She discovers a pack of medicine labeled trigoxin in the cabinet, bearing her own name. This revelation leaves Chloe perplexed raising questions about her mother's secrecy and the nature of the medicine prescribed to her. In a moment of revelation, Chloe peels off a small sticker with her name, only to find Diane Sherman's name written on the back. As night falls, Chloe, hesitant about the medicine given to her, decides not to swallow the green pill and instead takes it for examination. After her mother goes to sleep, Chloe ventures downstairs to use her computer for research on trigoxin. Unbeknownst to her, someone watches from the corner of the room as she attempts to access information. Unfortunately, an internet problem prevents her from discovering the truth. Undeterred, Chloe takes matters into her own hands the next day. She contacts random individuals asking them to use the internet and investigate trigoxin. Surprisingly, the results reveal that trigoxin is a red pill, not green, leading Chloe to grow suspicious of her mother's actions. Persistently curious, Chloe devises a plan to gather more information. During a trip to the cinema with her mother, she seizes an opportunity to leave for the nearest pharmacy. There, she confronts a long queue but manages to convince someone to let her cut. Questioning the pharmacist about trigoxin, Chloe discovers a shocking truth. The green medicine is actually ridocaine, intended for dogs. The revelation rocks Chloe's world, and she is stunned to learn about the potential consequences of taking ridocaine. Her inquiry is abruptly interrupted as Diane rushes in panic, injecting an anesthetic into Chloe's leg and hastily returning her home. Back at the house, Diane, in a state of panic, locks Chloe in her room. She then sets out to procure a new paralytic prescription she had been searching for online leaving Chloe isolated and bewildered in the wake of the startling revelations. 
awakening to the realization that her mother has locked her in the room. Her mother, anticipating such attempts, has strategically barricaded the door with a broom handle. Undeterred, Chloe, drawing on her scientific and technical acumen, improvises with a soda, blanket, and water. She ingeniously maneuvers through the window, crawling on the roof to reach the adjacent room. In a tense moment, Chloe employs the heat from the soda and water to shatter the glass in the next room's window, using the blanket as protection against the shards. As she navigates this daring escape, her asthma flares up, and a critical oversight occurs, she forgets to bring her inhaler. Despite the challenge, Chloe perseveres, crawling with shaky breath to reach her room, where she promptly uses her inhaler to alleviate the asthma. Quickly transitioning to her wheelchair, Chloe races to flee her house. However, her escape is thwarted when she discovers that the elevator, her planned route, has been intentionally damaged by her mother. In a desperate move, she throws the wheelchair aside and begins crawling down the stairs until an unexpected slip sends her rolling downward. Miraculously, she feels the movement in her toe, realizing that she hasn't taken her mother's medicine for an extended period. Growing increasingly convinced that her mother harbors dangerous intentions, Chloe hurriedly returns to her wheelchair and exits her house via the road leading to the city. Fearful of her mother's pursuit, Chloe conceals herself upon hearing a car approaching, only to discover it's the postman's vehicle, a familiar presence from delivering letters to her house. Seizing an opportunity, Chloe rushes out to block the postman's van, narrowly avoiding a collision. When the postman inquires about the situation, Chloe simply utters, help me. As the postman assists Chloe, her mother's car appears on the scene. Diane, anxious and inquiring, attempts to take Chloe home, but the postman intervenes, revealing Chloe's desire to go to the police station instead. The confrontation unfolds, leaving Chloe caught between her mother's control and the postman's assistance. In a desperate bid to bring her daughter back home, Diane resorts to threats, even mentioning the possibility of reporting a kidnapping to the police, injecting an anesthetic into the postman's neck until he loses consciousness. Chloe, too, succumbs to the sedation and faints. Upon regaining consciousness, Chloe finds herself confined to the basement of her house, wheelchair immobilized by chains. A disconcerting sight awaits her a black liquid, presumably a paralyzing drug concocted by her mother. Hindered by the chains, Chloe searches for an escape route and stumbles upon a pile of papers. Among them is a notification of her university admission, a revelation that her mother had deliberately concealed from her, evoking frustration and annoyance. The unsettling discoveries continue as Chloe unearths photographs portraying her prior to her paralysis. More shockingly, she discovers a note documenting the death of a baby named Chloe along with a newspaper detailing a baby kidnapping at the same time and place as the reported death. It dawns on her that she is not Diane's biological child, she is the infant who was abducted from her biological parents. The opening scene of the film, depicting Diane's baby, did not survive, leading Diane to kidnap another baby in the hospital to replace her deceased child. In the midst of Chloe's stress and confusion, Diane arrives, revealing the truth. She discloses that she is not Chloe's biological mother and admits to orchestrating Chloe's sickness and paralysis through medications, all in the name of love. Urging Chloe to forget these revelations and discard her medications, Diane's plea is met with resistance. As Chloe continues to reject her mother's words, 
Diane takes matters into her own hands, wielding a syringe filled with the ominous black liquid, injecting it into Chloe. Overwhelmed by fear, Chloe retreats behind a cupboard, locking herself away from her increasingly frightening reality. In a desperate and tragic turn of events, Chloe discovers a poison and, as her mother manages to open the door, she defiantly drinks the poison, overdosing herself. Diane, overwhelmed with grief, weeps loudly as she witnesses her daughter succumbing to the lethal substance. This grim scene prompts reflection on Diane's intense desire to control every aspect of Chloe's life since birth raising the question of whether this is genuine love or a form of selfish possessiveness. Miraculously, doctors manage to successfully treat Chloe, although she still faces significant challenges in terms of mobility and speech. From her hospital room, Chloe observes her mother staring at her through the glass, prompting her to urgently seek assistance by pressing the help button in her room. Unable to speak, Chloe communicates through her eyes, and the nurse provides her with a note and crayon to write down her thoughts. As Chloe begins to form words, an unexpected emergency alarm disrupts the hospital's tranquility. It's revealed that the alarm is a deliberate act of sabotage orchestrated by Diane to attract the nurse's attention, swiftly removing all medical equipment, and forcibly takes her away. Upon the nurse's return to Chloe's room, confusion ensues as she discovers Chloe's disappearance. Finding a note left by Chloe reading M.O.M., the nurse promptly alerts security to search for Chloe. Despite Chloe's attempt to seek help, she is forcefully taken by her mother, rendered unable to communicate her distress. In a final twist, as they approach the hospital exit on the escalator, Diane encounters an unexpected obstacle. She struggles to move Chloe's wheelchair leaving their fate hanging in the balance. In a surprising turn of events, Chloe reveals her resourcefulness as she uses her legs to immobilize the wheelchair. Though her legs can move slightly, the security guards swiftly intervene to prevent them from leaving. Diane, desperate to escape with her child, brandishes a gun and points it at the security officer insisting on going home. Amidst the tense standoff, a security guard manages to shoot Diane, causing her to fall down the stairs. Chloe is rescued, and Diane is apprehended by the authorities, ensuring their safety. Then, the story leaps forward seven years to a mental hospital. Now an adult, Chloe is depicted struggling but gradually gaining mobility in her legs. In a poignant scene, she visits someone, revealed to be Diane Sherman. Chloe reflects on her current life with her biological family expressing contentment, numerous friendships, and graduation from her preferred university. Before bidding farewell, Chloe retrieves something from her mouth revealing it to be the dog medicine that Diane had given her.